Hey guys, this is Down Phoenix, and I wanted to do a news sharing video. And I fortunately did not have the full setup. I didn't have the Yeti hooked up or anything like that. But I really wanted to get on here as quickly as possible, just because I'm excited at this news. Uh, so Nintendo has announced a new product. Unfortunately, it's not the NX or anything like that, of course, you know. But uh, it is something that's still really cool. Uh, this was something I actually originally found out uh, by Xander Skolian, you know, of Excess Gaming Podcast. He actually was telling me about it on Facebook Messenger. And I was looking at my news feed, and see I've seen some other people sharing about it as well, like, uh, you know, Travis of uh, Rose Colored Let's Play. He also shared it as well. And essentially what it is, is a mini box. Uh, it's a little bit bigger than the size of your hand that is modeled to look exactly like an NES system. Well, except for the controller ports, I guess, or... But we'll get to that. And it is packed with 30 games pre-built into it. And, uh, you know, it has USB controller support. So you can plug in a official Nintendo USB controller uh, into it, you know, and play all kinds of retro classics. I mean, there's an excellent list of games. I mean, of course, you're going to have games like Super Mario Brothers 1 through 3. You're going to have Legend of Zelda, uh, Metroid, you know, those kinds of games. And that's really sweet. But I'm also surprised at the selection of games they had from third-party companies. I did not expect that at all for a Nintendo announced product. It's got games like Castlevania, Mega Man 2, Ninja Gaiden, you know, Super C. It's got some excellent games on there. I mean, there are a few omissions like, uh, where's... Why Super C? Why not just regular Contra, you know? Or why not both of them, preferably, right? But um, but it's a really good start, you know? It's got Final Fantasy, if you want a good RPG to play on it, you know? And um, it's only $60, too. It's actually really affordable, uh, which is another thing that shocked me, because Nintendo Virtual Console, they like to charge 5 bucks a pop for these games. And you'd only be able to get 12 of those games officially off virtual console for the price of this which uh i think is gonna be a great novelty item and uh it also uh you know looks just like an nes it's it's very nice and it, i'm just surprised that this is a nintendo endorsed product that this is not just some cheap chinese third party company that is you know releasing it under gray market pretenses although you know, it probably is made in China, and it probably doesn't have that good a quality, I'm sure. Um, but, well, I don't know. You never know, because it's also got HDMI output, which is something that I did not expect. Not even like the Sega Genesis and Atari 2600 uh, plug-and-play consoles like this have HDMI, so that's actually really cool. Hopefully, it doesn't have too bad of a delay or anything like that. I mean, these games are very dependent on timing. So, I just want to share this awesome news. Um, this is something I'm definitely looking forward to get. Uh, I think it's supposed to come out later this fall. Uh, yeah, November 11th is the, um, announced release date. So I'm gonna have to see, uh, I'm sure they'll probably have some kind of pre-order thing or whatever. But we'll see. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share and sub if you enjoy this content. And if you give me a thumbs down, that's okay. Because you still give me abuse, you're cool in my book. So, till then, down Phoenix out.